Solving Quadratic Equations by Graphing, Part 2, Using the Graphing Calculator In Solving Quadratic Equations by Graphing, Part 1, Joe solved quadratic equations by graphing using graph paper. In this lesson, Joe will solve by graphing with his TI-84 Plus Silver Edition Calculator. This lesson applies to the TI-83 and TI-84 series calculators. He will show the advantages of solving quadratic equations with the calculator. This is the first equation Joe will solve today, negative 2x squared plus 10x equals negative 12. The first thing to do is solve one side for zero. That's most easily accomplished by moving the negative 12 on the right side over the left side. Over on the left side, the negative 12 becomes positive, so we have negative 2x squared plus 10x plus 12 equals zero. Now Joe can transform the equation into a function by replacing the zero with y. Now Joe swaps sides to have the y or dependent variable on the left side. Joe goes to the y equals or function editor view and puts the quadratic function into the calculator. The sign at the beginning of an expression is the negative sign at the bottom of the keypad and not the minus sign at the right. This is the x key. No other independent variable besides x will work or be recognized in the function editor mode. The squared key is on the left of the keypad. Instead of using the squared key, you could use the exponent key on the right side and put the, that's a little rooftop sign, and put the two after it, but that would take two keystrokes instead of just one keystroke with the squared key. Next, he graphs by pressing graph or zoom six. It looks like the solutions, or x-intercepts, are, are at or near x equals negative 1 and x equals 6. Each of the tick marks on the x-axis in the standard window represent one unit. We check out the table view by pressing second, then graph. We see one solution at 6 comma 0 at the bottom there. If we arrow up, we see our second solution at x equals negative 1. Joe has confirmed the solutions to the quadratic equation as negative 1 and 6. Let's look at this quadratic equation, the second one today. 2y squared equals negative 24y. Joe needs to change this quadratic equation into a quadratic function. To do that, he needs to make one side 0, and that is most easily done by taking the negative 24y on the right side over to the left side of the equation. On the other side it becomes positive 24y and the right side is left with 0. Joe converts the equation to a calculator graphable quadratic function by changing the 0 to y and the y's to x's and also trades places across the equal sign. He places the function here in y1 so he has 2x squared plus 24x he graphs by pressing graph or zoom 6. It looks like we see one solution at x equals 0. We can verify in the table view by pressing second, then graph. We see a solution where y equals 0, and that's when x equals 0, just like the graph shows. So that's one of our solutions, 0. And it makes sense because if we look at our original equation, 2y squared equals negative 24y, both sides have to equal 0 when y equals 0. But for the other solution, we know there is another solution because the function crosses the x-axis here and a parabola has to cross the x-axis somewhere else. There are a couple different ways we can go to find that other solution. We can adjust the graph by going to, going to the window view and you press that window key up at the top there. To see where the function crosses the x-axis, we need to zoom out on the x-axis, and these values are what we need to adjust, the x-min value and or the x-max value. Joe changes x-min to negative 20 and x-max to positive 20. He presses graph and sees the second solution, or x-intercept, over here. From here, he could use the trace operation trace key up at the top, second one from the right, or even other things, but a good way to go is to look at the table view again. He presses second, then graph for the table view. 
From here he pushes the up arrow button until he can see that second zero under the Y1 column, which he finds here at X equals negative 12. At this point he could take that negative 12 and plug it into both sides of the original quadratic equation to see if both sides are equal at Y equals negative 12. Instead of changing the window first to find the second solution, Joe could have gone directly to the table view first to look for that second solution. Let's look at this equation, x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals 0. Joe changes this to a quadratic function in graphical form by changing the 0 to y. He also flips sides to make it more to his liking. He now places the function in y equals view. He graphs the function by pressing graph. He sees maybe a solution or solutions over here to the right of the y-axis but cannot make make it out very well. He has the expanded x-axis view from the last problem. He can change it to a standard window by pressing zoom then 6 for a standard window. It looks like the curve touches down around x equals 4. Joe can look at the table view by pressing second then graph which accesses the table view. He sees a solution at x equals 4 and notices that y goes up from either side of 4. 4 is the only number that will satisfy this quadratic equation. This situation is when the equation is a quadratic square, sometimes called a perfect square. We'll be looking at perfect squares more closely when we learn to complete the square to solve quadratic equations and also when solving by factoring. Joe will now look at this one, negative 3m squared plus 6m equals 4. He rearranges the equation to get 0 by itself by moving out the 4 on the right side of the equation over to the left side. It becomes minus 4 on the left side and 0 is left on the right side. He changes the 0 to y and the m's to x's and flips around the equation. He has y equals negative 3x squared plus 6x minus 4. He places the function in the y equals view, then presses graph for zoom 6. Since the curve of the parabola does not cross or touch the x-axis, there is no solution to this equation, or sometimes it's called no real solution. Amongst the real numbers, there is no value of m that makes this equation a true statement. Let's look at this quadratic equation, x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Stop the video and solve this quadratic equation by graphing. Restart the video when you have your answer to see if you got the same answer as Joe. Here's the equation converted to the quadratic function y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. Here's the function entered in y equals view. And here's the function graphed. It looks like the solutions are x equals negative 3 and x equals 1. And here's the table view, which shows x equals negative 3 and y x equals 1 as two solutions. So negative 3 and positive 1 are the solutions, either one of which, substitute for x, will make the equation a true statement. Now a summary. Quadratic equations can have two, one, or no solutions. You may have to adjust the window to see the solutions while graphing the function. And finally, check the table view to verify the solutions. This has been Solving Quadratic Equations by Graphing, Part 2, using the graphing calculator. Thanks for viewing.